I have a very special guest today who's going to show me how to prove that root 2 is irrational. In other words, there are no two whole numbers whose ratio is exactly root 2. It's not a bird, it's not a plane, it's actually Euclid himself, author of the greatest work of mathematics in history. Welcome, Euclid! Before we look at the proof, is there anything you'd like to tell us about its background? OK, I'll start. I'll begin by trying to keep the Pythagoreans happy. My assumption is that there really are two whole numbers whose ratio equals root 2. I'll call the numbers C and D. OK, Euclid, you're the boss. Now, I'd like to turn that root 2 into a whole number. And I'll rewrite the equation to remove the fraction. Right, I think I know what to do now. I'm going to acknowledge that C is even by writing C equals 2K. Hooray! Oh, I see. C squared equals 2D squared. And C squared equals 4K squared. Therefore, 2D squared must equal 4K squared. that d squared must be an even number. d must be even too.
that both C and D must be even. We have a contradiction. Which means our initial assumption that root 2 equals c over d is wrong.